Hi everyone, it's Alpha Reddit here. Today I'm just doing you a quick video on respirators you can use to protect against coronavirus. I've gone through some of the basic ones you may see up to the more advanced ones which I'd recommend. Okay, so looking at the first picture we can see a surgical mask. These are used by surgeons all around the world. You also may see people in Asia using these on a day-to-day -day basis. Now these are good at keeping, your, if you're infected, keeping others from being infected but they're not so good at keeping yourself from being infected. So if you look at these arrows I've put on this picture, you can just see gaps where air can come through. If that's happening, you're gonna be breathing unfiltered air, not all of the air is gonna be going through the filter. So what's, what does this mean the virus is? If someone sneezes, if their sneeze droplets can be coming around the edges of that mask and infecting you. So I'd give these a 0 0.5 out of 10 rating for effectiveness. You're probably better off pulling your shirt over your face really okay so moving on to dust mask style respirators now with this firefighter he's wearing his very well it's going to be very effective problem is they're really hard to wear well now these firefighters and other other professions that use it they get training once a year on how to use it that metal bit at the top needs to be molded around to bridge your nose you need to be checking your chin to make sure it's fitted well around there around your cheeks because otherwise they're not going to work well at all. Now these can be any sort of rating. I mean, you'd be looking at at least N95 to N100 for this sort of application. But if you've got those gaps, that rating is not going to mean anything. So for the average person, I would not recommend this mask. It's not going to do the job for you. If you don't have it fitted right, you're just going to lead yourself into a full sense of security. So no to this mask. Now moving on to the mask I do re recommend is half mask respirators. So these cover half of your face, cover your nose and your mouth. They're made out of soft rubber so they mould around your face and they've got really easy straps. Now I used to use these all the time when I was a pest control technician. You may have seen other workforces using them but I used them when I was doing spray jobs. When I was doing fumigations they were perfect. Now they're really easy to use, take a couple of minutes to get trained up on them going to do you some quick points on them now so you need to be making sure you have them strapped tight around your head and then you need to do a little test now this test i've put in this picture an arrow to show you where the air index are on this photo but if you've got a single respirator like you saw me with in the picture a minute ago you just need to block off those where the air is coming in so on dual respirators you need to block off both sides on a single respirator you need to block off the front hole and then you need to breathe in sharply now when you're breathing sharply, if you can still breathe and it's blocked, then the mask isn't fitted correctly. If you can't breathe and you start, the mask starts collapsing around your face, it means you've got a good seal. The air is only coming in through the filters. Now for filter type, you're going to be wanting at least a P3 or N100. It depends where you are in the world. But those numbers just basically refer to the amount of particulates it blocks. An N95 will block 95% of particulates. An M100 would block 100%, P2 would block 95%, and the P3 would block 100% of particulates. It's pretty simple. Now, the good thing about these filters is they don't really have a full life. They don't have a lifespan on them like a gas filter would. So particulate filters, they'll do the job. When they start to become blocked with particulates, It'll be harder to breathe, but they're still going to be just as effective for blocking particulates it's because of the way they're made. It's basically paper or fiberglass arranged inside a matrix within that filter and the air flows over them. So when you inhale the air, it's gone through that filter and had all the particulates removed. So when they become blocked, just take it off, change it for a new one. You're at no risk with, with those. They're not, they're not going to start seeping through that filter. It just becomes more blocked. Okay, so I'll put some links below to some some products that I recommend. So I would go have a look at these now. These could sell out if things start hitting the fan in your area. And just make sure you're prepared now. So if you want to give a subscribe, a like and a comment, that'd be great. Thank you.